you have been playing this game for some time. Learning the ins and outs, trying to create the best character ever that will survive the zombie apocalypse. Not just survive, but strive in this brave new post-apocalyptic world. You begin to die less and less. You start to hoard resources, fixing cars, driving and dominating the world. Until you make some dumb mistake and just die stupidly. But then some thoughts start creeping in your head. That little part of your mind that serves for critical and logical thinking, that you have neglected most of the time, decides to suddenly flare up. Like a warning call coming from the deep pockets of your soul. What if I make my own self in this fallen, accursed world? How long can I survive? This should be fun. You know that you are not the perfect person, far from it. But you think you will have a decent chance to survive. Not thrive, but survive. Hell, you've been doing that your whole life and here you are still kicking. Hooray for you, I guess. So you load up the game and start picking up traits. Here is where the moment of deep introspection comes into play. You start looking all over them choices. Questions arise. Questions you always wanted to ask yourself but never did. Avoiding to face reality, to confront what's deep inside your soul or mind and asking yourself the big questions. What kind of man am I? Do I consider myself brave? Dexterous? Am I a fast learner? What are some positive things about me? I can be all those things, but am I really that? When confronted with challenges, kicked out of my comfort zone that I rarely leave, would I really rise up to the challenge? Become the best possible version of myself? I mean, I could already do some of those things, so why don't I? Why can't I be fit, organized? You glance over those positive things again, more and more thinking none of them apply to you. Why can't I be a better person? Can't I make people around me happy and proud? Why am I the way I am? And then the negatives come. You look at them, staring and straining to not allow yourself to sink into self-doubt and embrace what you are afraid you must never become. But they sound so familiar. All those doubting, intrusive thoughts come bubbling up onto the surface. Am I overweight? Oh, yeah, kinda. Clumsy? Oh boy, I did my fair share of clumsy things. Am I unfit? Slow learner? Feeble? Cowardly? Could I really kill an undead zombie thing if my life depends on it? Would I be afraid to leave my home and face the challenges of the outside world. But against your better judgment, you choose the traits. Most of them negative, but hey, such is life, right? You can't have sunshine and rainbows all the time. So you go out. Every step is painful. You think to yourself that you will die any moment now, that you stand no chance. You fight off a few zombies and then the inevitable happens. You die. So fast, so early, so young. Defeated and with a sense of shame, you leave the game for some time. Am I really the kind of person I imagine I am? Is this all a lie and am I living in some self-made matrix version of my own reality I created? You talk less and less. You think more and more. You don't know if that's good or bad, but you do it. Until one day you decide to run the game again. But this time things go differently. Of course you die fast, but this time you survived a bit more. Defeated a few more zombies, looted some more food and survived just a little bit more. Your vigor is reignited. You find an inner driving force and you start again. You fail, of course, again, but you go out once more and more and more and more. Each time you make it a little bit further. Each time you achieve that one small victory that motivates you not to stop. And then it hits you. You can do that in real life also. Small steps. That's how you progress. Because in the end we will all die. You can only choose. Will this be how you live?